Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because it means the world to me. <laughs> Today's video, you can probably tell by the title, I got a puppy. So I got a little miniature dash hound. Everyone meet Pablo. Hey Pablo. Hi. Hi. <laughs> puppy Dan. So Pablo is a miniature dash hound. Um, he is a purebred as well. Um, I got him from a proper um, registered breeder here in Brisbane. Um, I got him from a town called Kilcoy. So it's about 50 minutes to an hour drive from where I am. Uh, he is very tiny. He is currently nine weeks old now. I got him when he was eight weeks old. So I've had him for just over a week now. Um, I sort of wanted to sit down and wait for him to get comfortable with me and my home or the home before I did this video. He's a very, um, he has a very placid temperament. He's very chill. Um, he loves his cuddles, but he can be the biggest play dog ever. Like he just loves to play as well. So he is a bit of both. He loves to be calm and relax with you and cuddle with you, but then he loves to play and he will play with himself, like run around by himself and he'll bark at himself. He'll growl at himself. He's the cutest little dog. Um, I've got a few toys for him, but I do have to go get some more because he is teething at the moment. So, um, I'll get them. I get paid today. Whew, thank God. So I'll get them either today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I just thought that I would jump on and show my YouTube fam that I have a brand new little puppy and I am so, so happy. Just for you all knowing, I didn't come up with his name. Um, my partner didn't want a little dog. He wanted an American Staffy and I said, no, I'm getting a fucking little dog. I want one. So um, he said, if we get a little dog, we're naming him Pablo. So his name's Pablo. Hi, baby. Hi. What you doing? Is that your tail? Is that your tail? Hi. <laughs> ah. Ah. what's this? Now, Pablo also likes to follow, so um, pretty much every time I walk away somewhere, he will come running and follow me. I will leave the bedroom and go to the kitchen. I'll leave the bedroom and go to the toilet and he'll be right there at my feet within seconds. Um, our floor has also got like, um, I don't even know what you would call it. I don't know, it's, it's almost like wood, but it's like vinyl, is that the word? I don't know. It's almost like wood vinyl thing, I don't know. Um, but his little paws, you just hear him come running. Um, it's so cute. And he doesn't like run like one leg after the other. He sort of he sort of like gallops like a horse. <laughs> it's the cutest thing because he's got the little tiny legs and his long body. He's just, he's absolutely adorable. Someone got some new toys to play with. Had the toy, not even 10 minutes and it's broken already. Are you on the bed? Are you on the bed? Yes you are. Yes you are. Ah, no biting. No biting. You're on the bed because mommy let you. Daddy doesn't let you, does he? No. No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. What? No. Pablo. Hi, baby. Hi. Good morning, everyone. So, I've just woken up probably about... 30 minutes ago, I've got work this morning, but I just thought I'd jump on here because a certain someone. What did you do? What did you do? Hey? 
What did you do? A certain someone decided he would tear one of his toys apart. So this poor little guy right here is just breaking at the seams. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So today I am taking Pablo to the vets. He is getting his second lot of needles today and I kind of just want to get like an overall health check for him as well. Maybe get like his nails clipped, his ears cleaned out. Um, his ears are quite dirty for how little he is. Why is my camera being like this? So yeah, I'm going to take him to the vet and I thought that I would bring you guys along with. So yeah. Hi baby. Where are we? Are we at the vets? You're like, no. Not today, mom. I don't want to go to the vet. Not today. Good afternoon everyone. So today is Saturday. Um, I thought that I would, oh my battery's dying. Fuck. Today I thought that I would jump on and talk to you guys about a few things that have happened in the past few days. So um, yesterday I went to work. Um, so I only work just down the road from where I live, which I'm very lucky. Um, as some of you may know, if you've been watching my other videos, I have um, been having open houses every Saturday um, because the owners are selling the house we are living in so I will be moving soon. Yes, I went to work yesterday and I left Pablo outside for the first time. I started work at 6.30 in the morning. Within two hours of leaving him at home he had gotten out of the backyard. Um, on my 10 minute break it was about 9.30 and I had received phone calls and messages from a, a, a unknown number, like a random number. Um, and I just, first message I seen and I had a look at was, we found Pablo or we have Pablo. And I was like, oh my God, freaking the hell out. Um, I was calling my partner, everything. I told my boss at work, I was like, I gotta go. Like my dog's gotten out, but lucky enough, one of my friends um, had gone and picked him up for me. So what happened is the lady obviously tried calling me and stuff because I've got a little name tag for him and it has his name and my phone number on it so that if he ever did get out, they could call me. Um, so yeah, so the lady had called me. She also put a post up on um, like our local watch page on Facebook. Um, so she put up a post on there and luckily one of my friends had seen it and she went and picked him up for me so i was very very thankful for that and i appreciate the hell out of her for doing that for me um but yeah pablo got out and i was freaking the hell out um i started crying and everything i was on the phone to mitch and i was like he's he's going out and mitch was like no like he's okay tiana's got him stop crying and i don't i don't know what came over me i just i i it must have been just shock because of how little he is i just i was so worried and scared and poor little guy just out there the big bad world on his own but the lady had said that um she found him, she, she was right across the road from us, like down the street, which is really lucky. But she said that she had found him 
just held up in a little ball on the concrete on the path. He must have just been so scared. Um, but I came home and I think we found where he had gotten out. So um, we've fixed that all up, patched it all up. Hey everyone. So the last clip that I showed you guys, my camera battery actually died on me, which I was really pissed about. So I'm not sure where I really left you off in my story. But um, as you guys know, Pablo got out of the house um, but we got him all back he is all safe and sound we have literally barricaded off every possible exit for him to ever get out of so he's not getting out anywhere now um, I've left him out a few times during the day while I'm at work since then and he has been okay which is really good as you guys can probably already tell my voice is actually half there half not there um, I started getting sick on Friday today is Tuesday so I started getting sick on Friday and um, my voice actually went on Sunday night it was like Saturday sun, Sunday morning I woke up and it was like it was still there but it sounded different and then throughout the day it just got worse and worse and worse and it was really really bad Sunday night to the point where I could barely even hear myself talking um, and then yesterday it was pretty bad as well um, I did end up going to work yesterday but everyone was like oh my god like listen to your voice <laughs> so um, I didn't end up going into work today just because I still am quite sick and I don't want to be getting anyone else sick while I'm at work especially some of the residents um, as you guys know I work in aged care if you have been watching any of my other videos <laughs> um, so I'm gonna end the vlog off here now um, thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it means so much to me. Um, I'm really, really trying to, I'm really, really trying to start to get into the swing of things. I really want to start to grow my channel a lot more and it would mean the absolute world to me if you guys could subscribe and share and like and whatever to my videos just to help me improve, help me grow. Um, and if you guys want to see any videos that you want me to do, please just let me know in the comments because I'd be more than happy to do them. You know, I need some ideas to do some videos and get myself, get my name out there. So yeah, if you have any ideas, then please just leave them in the comments below. And I will see you all in my next video. Say bye. Say bye, Pablo.